Hi everyone, I hope you've all been having a lovely week. Now this week's recipe is going to be something sweet. I've got a sweet treat. I'm going to be making shortbread biscuits. Mm. Uh, now, instead of using sugar as the main kind of sweet ingredient, I'm going to use some honey. Yes, um, I'm using the Orange Blossom Rouse honey. And you know, normally it says, you know, you can use it for dressings and marinades, but not all the time. So you can, you know, you can mix it up a bit. I'm gonna use it in the shortbread because the flavor's amazing. Now I've got 250 grams of butter, unsalted, and it's slightly soft. And all I'm gonna do, first of all, is add in 175 grams of the honey to the butter. It's about, probably about three quarters of this bottle. I'm gonna beat the honey and butter together. Now, doesn't, you don't have to beat it ridiculously hard, just until everything's mixed together. And now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Mix the plain flour and the corn flour together, and we're gonna sieve them so it helps just combine everything a lot better. And I will put all the full quantities uh, up on my recipe blog for you. Link will be in the description box. Right, now we can start adding this mixture into the butter and honey. And this bit you just have to do kind of gently. I'm actually just doing it with a spoon. You can do it with a, you know, with the mixture if you want to, but you don't want it to get too soft. Because what you're basically trying to achieve here is a ball of dough. Now I'm just going to gently bring this all together with my hands. Pop this onto a piece of cling film. And then it's going to go into the fridge for about 20 minutes, just so it gets firmer and then we can roll it out. This has been chilling for about half an hour, so it's a bit firmer. Okay, still quite soft. What we're gonna do is lightly flour your work surface. And we're gonna roll this out till it's about maybe one centimetre thick. Always flour your rolling pin a bit as well. Okay, there you go. Just needs a gentle touch. Now you can use a cutter and then you can cut yourself either round biscuits or whatever shape you like. So just keep going until you've used up all your dough and then you can roll it up again. This makes quite a lot of biscuits, which is good. Just place them carefully onto a tray. My oven is preheating. It's on a low heat, okay? So you don't want these to kind of go too brown. It's on, the oven temperature is about gas mark three, that's about 160 degrees Celsius if it's a fan oven, and in Fahrenheit that is oh, 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm actually gonna just like prick the top of these biscuits as well with a fork. You can do whatever you like. I always feel shortbread has to have these little holes in. I think that's the Scottish style. <laughs> So these are ready to bake. Um, make sure they've got a little bit of space in between. They're gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven, and then we're gonna leave them to cool down on a wire rack. So these are done. Perfect, slightly golden on the outside, and that's it. But while they're still hot, I'm gonna sprinkle some caster sugar on top. And just a little dusting. And you can keep these um, up to a good week or so in an airtight container. And they're just, they're not too sweet, just very buttery, very flaky. And I hope you all really enjoy making these at home with your honey in them. Um, so don't forget, hit subscribe. If you haven't hit subscribe, I do new recipes for you every single week. And leave me a comment. I hope you like making these and I'll speak to you all. I'll see you all next week. And here's something else that I can't actually help but do. I actually like to drizzle a little bit on top, like that. Oh my goodness. Mmm. I actually highly recommend doing that. Very good. See you all soon, everyone.